Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Today I will be showing this you showing you this mod. Um it is the shaders mod and with the Sonic Ethers um, un unbelievable shaders mod pack. And I will also be showing another Roku mod pack thing. No, it's not a mod pack, it's a sh shaders pack. And if we just quickly sh sleep here, um then I can show you what? Seriously. Dino mods, mod, mods. I keep saying mods. Oh, so this is quite a cool uh, mod. It uh, it enables shaders in Minecraft. So um, there there is the the basics to it is there is a mod that allows shader packs to be used, and you can have different shader packs. This is the Sonic Ether shaders pack. He um, he original not not originally started it, but uh, I think. He was, he he has made quite a lot of it, so uh, this is his version of it, uh, how he would like it to to look, and of course they they updated, um, so uh, this is his version. I really like the sun the, and and the waters especially, but uh, there is some water glitches where it's just pitch black. Um, hope he will fix that. So um, there I will just show you the other. Um, shaders pack. This one has a more normal Minecraft water and some more, you know, some 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 smaller waves. So it's not as pang. You know, you just pop in your head and they like big ocean. So uh, this mod pack, mod pack. I keep <laughs> keep saying mod pack. This shader pack is um is also really great. I think. Um, I actually don't like the water that much. I re I like the sh the the Sonic Ethers water more, but uh, I really like the the lens flare you have when you're looking at the sun. Really great for making so for making uh, like cinematic uh, movies and stuff in Minecraft. And this is the project we're working on right now on our our survival server. It's um, a witch spawner, so uh, we we found a witch hut. In the middle of um, this um, swamp, swamp biome. So uh, we just decided to dig it all out. Um, so only mobs could spawn in here, and we're going to make a mob trap of that soon. So um, I'll make some update videos and maybe have it have it inside my other videos how it's going with with this project. And we're using a 55 and haste two beacons, else it would take too long. When you have that, you can like, like insta mine uh, smooth stones. You could just go like a uh, netherrack with an efficiency pickaxe. So now let me hop onto my desktop so I can show you how you um, install the mod. We are now on my desktop computer, and uh, in the description there will be uh, a link to a zip file where all these files are in. So you just drag them out and put them on the desktop so you know where they are. So uh, at first we need to to need the magic launcher. So um, that's where you that's the way you want to launch Minecraft when you are using all these things and probably all also to other things because it's very easy way to install mods. Just open Minecraft launcher and then you have all your um, your your shaders. No, not all your mod. Let me just clear this out. So uh, then you have all your configurations with different mods you you like this the default then there's no mods and then you can can um, add different packs with different mods in so now I can say mod packs it's actually a mod pack so here I have shaders and camera studio this is actually for 1.4.7 so I should probably delete that and then I have the Optifine one where it's only Optifine I have one for Hunger Games have a modded Minecraft where I have some some inventory tweaks and stuff. So um, I also fly mod. So you can have a different configuration. So to make one, you just go to setup and make a new one. So you just copy from default, so you don't get any mods um, you don't want. So I'll call this you YouTube shaders. So when you have your configuration made here, you just need to add the mods, and that means the mods right here uh, that I've put in the description. 
So uh, these mods I have put in a folder called mods. So um, right now I'm just going to show them when they're on the desktop. But if you delete them from the desktop, it will not work. So I'm put them in a folder somewhere safe where I won't delete them. But uh, I'll just keep them there just for showing you. So uh, you uh, go to your desktop. You can find it in here. And then you're going to add Optifine first, and after that you're going to add the shaders mod. And it is actually really important that it's did what this way, so the Optifine is on top, is it won't work. So if you did the opposite and had the shaders mod on top, it will do like this. So it will show some errors, three errors, um, or something like that. It's different on on computers. And now it won't work, so you can. You can press this up and down to, to have it in the correct position. And if you think you want a new version of the Optifine, you can actually do that. So if it isn't working, it's probably because you did something wrong, like getting a new version of Optifine instead of the one I have in my pack. So uh, there is actually a reason for that, because this shaders mod is made for Optifine Ultra A8. So, uh, and this is Optifine Ultra A8, so uh, quite a coincidence, huh? So now you have the mods right here, just hit OK and then you can choose your configuration and press lock in. This is the this is just the launcher. So now you are in Minecraft and from here off you can't even notice that you have a uh, using magic launcher to open it. So um let's jump on our server again. Yeah, I forgot to hide the IP, I'll do that in the video editing later so let's log in here and yeah it, it looks great great but um, right now I'm using a screen capture program so uh, it's probably not that great video for you right now so um, I'm just going to end the video right here so thank you for watching please rate comment subscribe and check out my other videos and see you next time